This is a little cryptic. It's a clue. Don't worry if you can't solve her riddles all at once. I'll translate new clues every night. But the Abbey grounds are huge. How will I know where to look? You used to love running around these grounds as a child. If you need a refresher, study your map. Hunter? You said something earlier about the blood. In a world full of mysteries, the blood have managed to remain even more mysterious than most. They were an ancient race, said to be born of the Elder Gods. As I understand it, they were very strict about maintaining their bloodline. That's probably why you don't hear about them very often. And yet, here you are. One of their direct descendants. Are there others? It's quite possible. But even if there are, they might not even know it themselves. Somehow, I take comfort in that. What they do not know cannot hurt them. Indeed. After our last battle, what happened to Lilith? You were in the woods. You and your mother obviously came to blows, but we found no wounds, no evidence of what happened at all. A silent, deathly embrace between mother and child. We had hoped you would both find peace in the next life. But she is not buried here. No. We entrusted her to the Knights of Wondergore, the ancient protectors of your ancestral homeland in Transia. I don't think they ever expected to contend with an organization like Hydra, and I doubt Lilith spared any who survived her reawakening. What would Wanda want with your altar? What can I say? Some people have a curious, adventurous itch that just has to be scratched. I was one of them, and so was Wanda. Caretaker, not so much, but I see it again in you, Hunter. So, you encouraged her exploration? Of course. Why wouldn't I? What good is being as powerful as we are if we're just going to spend all our time cooped up within these walls? What's the worst that could happen? Uh... <laughs> you got me there, dear. What do you know about the Moon Seals? Presumably forged by the gods themselves, I like to think of a moon seal as both a lock and a key. With the right power, wielded by the right person, the energy of the seal is unleashed, creating a conduit to the Elder Gods. And I am that right person. Just another benefit of being descended from the blood. Lucky you, dear. Where did the words of power come from? While I often call them blessings or gifts of the old gods, the words of power are actually powerful invocations tuned to the unique energies found in descendants of the blood. And Caretaker used the words as well. Of course, dear. Sarah used the words of power on the Abbey grounds just as you do today. Many of the areas you encounter that seem receptive to these spells are actually the result of Sarah's frequent undertakings. Hello.
does not seem right to intrude in their space. An elemental rod. I should take this back to the altar. of the spirit of vengeance. I wonder if he was as conflicted as Robbie is about being a ghost rider. does not see it happening. The goddess must be busy. The old magic still holds. I see you found one of the elemental rods. If you'd like to keep going, you may keep searching for more. Need something, dear? Feeling well today, dear?
I will see if I can find you a treat later. <laughs> Interesting. Fascinating. cracks in this wall. The goddess disagrees. Must not be her purview. She believes in our purpose. The gods are fickle. Hey, Charlie Warley puppy face. the elemental rods. What is it, Charlie? Find something? This looks like a fairy ring.
was Wanda up to here? are fickle. 